Man, I don't know what it is, but something about seeing recording game footage, like, on a video player, for me, but, like, actually being the thing I did has always just been so amazing. Like, I, I don't know how to describe it. Like, it sound, that sounds really ridiculous, but, like, I've always been so fascinated by it. Like, ever since I, I first found out about it, I was just like, oh, that is really cool. I'm sure I synchronized your clock, Robanana, but something's off. I calculated the difference. It looks as if about one-sixth as much time passed on the surface as you spent underground. Time seems to move differently in the underground spaces on this planet. I'm not sure how it works, but I suppose that means you can take as much time as you need to explore caves. Got a black hole in the center. That would actually, that would actually explain it. Oh, that would be creepy as all hell. Oh my god, that stuff scares me. I increased my Pikmin by 10. There we go. Oh, I swear it was like 25 in the, I, I, I might be wrong. There we go. Got my Pikmin. Got my lads. Right, so, we're going to just toss that. And toss that. I want to make sure we can get as much raw material as possible because it's going to be really useful for building bridges. Also useful for other stuff too, but mainly bridges. And everything up here except for that has been claimed. I don't think I can get that without yellow Pikmin, so... I only put one Pikmin on that, so that hasn't been done. Ochi, get off that. There you go. Yeah, my biggest problem with Pikmin games is I always get a bit flustered by the controls. Uh, where's the map? There we go. Alright, we got that to bring down there. I think I need yellows to bring that down. From the looks of it, I'm going to need yellows. So I'm not going to go up there yet. <clears throat> I'll come down over here instead, because I can move my base over here, actually. That'll make things faster. I know half of my Pikmin are going to have to start walking even further now, but... Another circle of stones. Maybe Captain Olimar left them behind for us so we could track him down. Never mind that for now. I wonder if we're in this creature's territory. We should create a base here. Any Dandori master would tell you it's the most efficient way forward. But first, let's do something about that pesky creature. <coughs> We got him. Sorry about your tail, Ochi. Press A to call the SS Beagle to a base. And of course the Pikmin will come with it. It's going to make sure I remember to pause the game when I'm uh, not in a cave. More. You'll want to keep a close eye on the creatures, but if they move around a lot, they can easily escape your line of sight. Right, so... When that, when that happens, there's a handy tr trick for keeping s your sights and aim where you want them. Yeah, lock on! <coughs> uh, there we go. And... Go! Right. So if you're wondering why I went a little bit quiet there, basically I sneezed and I muted the microphone so that it wouldn't show up on stream, as you would expect, as is normal, as you should do. And then I forgot to unmute it like a genius. So I'm doing a bit of post commentary here for the YouTube Let's Play. Obviously I could not fix this on the stream, so that was great. Thankfully no one's watching my streams at the moment, so I'm basically streaming to myself. Occasionally people will pop in, so I can't be so pessimistic about it. Oh, it takes time. It all takes time. But anyway, we got ourselves some ultra spicy spray there. A spray consisting of red nectar infused with ultra spicy compounds. 
I believe this is the, the ultra spicy spray that was mentioned in the voyage log. Here I am. Keep that sample sealed up. Okay, there's a decent amount of ultra spicy essence there. It should be useful. I'm gonna try and read. Obviously, I can't. Oh, there seems like an opportune time to teach you something. Uh, yeah, I can't exactly keep up with it. It's just a video playing. From the Y actions you can open your pack with, you'll find the, all the items there. So pick the one you want to use. There we go. <clears throat> Feels really weird doing the Colin voice while I'm not actually playing Pikmin. <laughs> right, what am I doing here? I'm probably going to edit some of this out because I'm pretty sure I just run around a bit. Right, so I've come down here and now I'm going to take out these bulb orbs. Just to get them out of the way so they're not, you know, going to cause us problems later when we're trying to transport some treasures back. Oh man, I still do this when I'm not streaming. I'm making these, like, words when I'm not streaming. Right, let's grab the... Okay, no, there's, 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 um... Shear grubs there. We don't want to get get done by that. Right. I did a bad there. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just charged them with OG. Why didn't I do that? <laughs> I'm going to be saying that to myself a lot while watching this. Because I've had that epiphany now. Like, I've gotten a lot further in the streams. Like, in the streams, I'm almost done as of editing this. I'm fairly close to being done. I'm actually slowing down how many streams I'm doing. Just so I don't get done, like, right away. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. So I'm almost done, and I, for the longest time, forget to use, forget to utilize Ochi's charge as much as I should have. Oh, look at the time. It's an important part of any rescue mission is making sure you're, where you make your way back before it gets dark. According to Captain Olimar's voyage log, Pikmin will be safe as long as they make it back into the area around the base. Oh, no. Seems like creatures get, if Pokemon get, uh, Pokemon, if Pokemon get separated, Oh my god, if Pikmin get separated, oh dear. I know they're almost similar words. Not, they're not similar words, they're almost similar though. They're close to being similar. Anyway, we're going to grab these pellets here. Thankfully, from the looks of it, it seems like not too much was actually missed when I muted the microphone. Thank god. <laughs> Alright, we're just looking at the map. I think I'm contemplating whether or not to get that tra treasure there. Ah! Finally! I've been watching and editing this video. So frustrated myself at how long it took me to get this clock. Oh, my days. Right, get those on that and charge the clock off the wall. Please charge the clock off the wall. Oh, my... I should have been doing that. If you want to know how to get that clock down, if you haven't figured it out like me, you charge with Ochi into the wall and it will knock it down. I was thinking I needed yellow Pikmin for some bizarre reason. I don't know why. Pull it off the wall, I guess. But still, yeah, no. Just just charge it. Just charge it. Do I figure it out, like, last second? Please tell me I figure it out last second. Please. 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 No, no, he's not doing it. I'm not doing it. Ooh. All right, I'm sorry about how long it's going to take me to get that treasure, okay? I am already really sorry about that. I am so sorry. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. Call him back. Call him back. Call him back. Oh, uh, right. So we are back with live commentary now. Oh, God. I've been muted for ages. How long have I been muted? <laughs> See, this is a problem. I don't know when I muted that, but oh, well. I have to talk over it. Oh, that is frustrating. At least it's recorded. That's what matters. That's what matters. We got Russ. And all the raw material. Welcome back, Russ. Glad to see you made it here. It made it here in one piece. Yeah, of course, Captain. I had no doubts the emergency escape system I developed would function perfectly. That may be, but it would be helpful if you showed the rest of us how I, how to actually use it. One would expect an emergency escape device to be a bit more intuitive to use in the event of an emergency. Anyhow, now that you're back, Russ, can you tell us how you came across? Tell us if you came across any of those shiny rocks like before, like this before we found you. You hear? Oh, Colin, Colin, Colin. Not only did I see them, I already completed very thorough research on this material. I discovered that when heated, the rocks become soft and malleable and can be shaped into any form you desire. Its base properties can even change when exposed in to different stimuli. It's quite a versatile raw material indeed. Cool. 
cool doesn't even begin to describe it. This, this is the one. The ultimate biomass I've been searching for my entire career. I'm currently upgrading the 3D printers so we can put the, this miracle this miracle material to use as soon as you bring it to the SS Beagle. It'll be crucial to my work in the lab and any other building needs that might arise. What a spectacular update, Russ. I knew bringing along a material scientist would be a key to our success. Starting tomorrow, I'm expecting our rescue operations to go even more smoothly than usual now that you're here. You found Russ, the Rescue Corps' talented scientist. Let's keep searching for the rest of the Rescue Corps officers. Now I know how to say that, I'm not going to hesitate to say it anymore. It's a new day, I know she's all big now. Wait. Is it just me or did Ochi go through a uh, growth spurt overnight? That's actually quite typical for his breed. It's a sign that he's now uh, f now fully grown and qualified for more rigorous acti activity. The Pikmin sure are playful today. Yes, they appear to be letting their guard down. That Ochi's come now that guard no, now that Ochi's coming to his own. I'm just glad to see they're getting along. Right. Another benefit of Ochi being fully grown is that he can now build up his pup drive while completing missions. And with regular training sessions, he can learn new skills that will be useful for everyday rescue operations. From the looks of it, Ochi is ready as ever to fill up that pup drive. Alright, officers, to your stations. Copy that. I now call this strategy meeting into order. First things first, Russ, please update us on the improvements being made to the SS Beagle. Oh, yeah. It would be my absolute pleasure, Captain Shepard, because they're done. The SS Beagle now has the ability to transform any raw materials collected in the field to, to all-purpose clay. With this functionality, we should be able to easily build on location. Excellent, of course, I'm not quite sure what we'll be building, but good work nonetheless. One last thing. Bring me raw material and I'll be able to whip up exciting new gear and items for you in the lab. I have no doubt they'll be useful for you, useful to you while out in the field. Ready. Sounds like we're not only collecting treasure, treasure now, but raw material too. Wow. And don't forget about our missing rescue officers. We're counting on you to find them, cool banana and Ochi. By the way, come talk to me later when, when you have a minute. I'd like to discuss Ochi's training. I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. Copy that. Oh, right, let's do some training. Ah, there you are. Danger is a constant when exploring an unknown planet like this one. The skills I'll teach you and Ochi just might save you. As long as you, you uh, as long as you and Ochi keep building up his pup drive, there's nothing the two of you can't do. Well, I hope you're ready because it's time to start your training. I'd like to train. All right, it's time to commence training. The journey will be long and arduous, but I have no doubt you two can handle it. Right, this rescue pup training curriculum has been passed down through many generations. If Ochi's pup drive has built up sufficiently, he can train and learn new skills without a problem. As for what skills to learn and when to learn them, that depends on the rescue approach you two want to take. Go for the buff path if you want to carry heavy things, or go to the trump path if you want if taking creatures if taking on creatures is your priority. But keep proper Dandori practices in mind and think carefully about what you will ha what will help you carry out your duties effectively. Right. So buff uh, strengthens him, and he works with the brawn of five Pikmin. It will go for a buff and a chomp. There we go. You put everything you had into that training. What a good boy, Ochi. Yes, you are. Now I have a special treat for you. A scrubby bone. Going forward, every time you complete training, you'll get a scrummy bone. Give it to Ochi as a reward for me. Ahem. Allow me to, to, to introduce myself again. I'm Russ, the resident brains of the Rescue Corp operation. I almost said corpse again. I use the raw materials you find 
you find in my handmade components to create all kinds of items and gear for the useful useful in the field for use in the field I can probably state that all my inventions have been perfectly perfected you could even say that I have it down to a science exchange for raw material provide you with new gear okay cool so the scorch guard which means he can no longer get burnt that is very tempting. Uh, the, the charging horn. Ah. Okay, it's an upgrade. So we'll grab that. But we won't grab anything else yet because I want the raw material. Alright, let's go. We're all set over here. The SS Beagle can take off whenever you're ready. Let's go. Sun Speckle Terrace again. And away we go. Come in, come in, over. As we discussed earlier, Ochi has grown a bit, so this morning I decided to drill him on his jump skill. Ochi should be able to move around more easily now, even with you and the Pikmin on board. Walk up close to Ochi and press X to press Y to mount it again, and press it again to dismount. Press X when you want Ochi to use jump. You should have no problem clearing small ledges. If you keep if you keep holding X after you jump, you can build up his power. It's something with a rush to launch the Pikmin on his back and have them land on your target. Using jump will give you access to using jump will give you access to more search areas, and a good rush can be game changing. It can be a game changing move in battle. Right, now I can get on Ochi's back, which is very nice. Also, I can get a bit of those boys. All right, those guys. You need 30 ice Pikmin to be able to freeze that water there. I remember that. <coughs> it's one of the last things I did in the demo. I believe we can turn this partial construction into a vital asset. We'll process raw material into clay and the SS Beagle when, and use it as a building material to finish the structure. These raw materials are only valuable when brilliant minds give them a higher purpose after all. Once you're at a construction site, to simply direct your Pikmin and Ochi to start building. There we go. The lads are on it. And the bridge to the first area is complete. Now I can go back and do the other uh, cave. But first, I think I'm going to come back up here and make sure I do this one. Because, you know, I saw it first. Let's get all of those guys on that. And put one of these guys doing this. I like building up a lot of Pikmin. I love having loads of them. There we go. Got a nice load of sparkling from the uh, binoculars there. You guys want to not? Ah, might as well. 
But now I'll just build up my reds. And build up like the shortcuts and everything. Get all of that stuff sorted. Quickly as possible. Man, that, that, that dropped to a low frame rate then. Oh, the frame rate in this game is so choppy. Oh, that's literally how people are with like Kirby. I know you could say, well, well you criticized Pokemon earlier. Yeah, I did, but that, there's a difference there because like that game has like borderline Caesar inducing popping in where characters are literally flashing and out like rapidly. And like, you know, the frame rate will drop to that low for everything within five meters around you. Like, look how smooth like Ochi's animation is here. I can't even tell if that's 60 or 30 FPS. Probably 30. But it looks real nice. It looks real good. Might even be 60. I don't know. It's the same with Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I couldn't tell that was in 30 frames per second. I really could not. Are you guys almost finished building this now? Uh -huh. I don't have anything else to do other than that. Because I want the yellow. I need the yellows. I got that over there, but again, I need yellows. Uh, you got that mysterious looking guy right over there. <clears throat> what is this one then? Aha. Crackling cauldron. Alright. He's going with 30 reds. down we go. Oh, she just fell on his back there. Poor little guy. And somehow my cable is affecting my touch screen on my phone, but a DS stylus doesn't. How does that make sense? Don't know. DS styluses are just built different, I guess. Don't throw them over the edge. I don't know if I can do that, but you can do it in Pikmin 2, so I wouldn't be surprised. An electrical gate. Only need red Pikmin, it said. I recommend just. It's not like you can eat, I even have yellows, I, I say. I can just attack with Ochi, that is sick. Oh, yeah, I can, like, use this guy to get more sparkling. Which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get as much sparkling as possible. Here are the enigmas themselves, the Shearwigs. The flying buggers. Just pluck up some Pikmin. There we go, we got your yellow boys now. Is this a new type of Pikmin? I should check to see if Captain Olimar's log says anything about them. I've decided... <clears throat> that's not the voice I was doing for... Alright. I decided to call the yellow-coloured Pikmin with a y large ear-like appendages Yellow Pikmin. I like that name more than Ear Pikmin that the ship called them in Pikmin 2. That was not very pleasant at all. They're resistant to electricity and they fly high when thrown, plus they're good at digging. I just turned to the James voice. <laughs> Resistant to electricity, how unusual, uh, how unusual. What in the world are they made of? Sounds like potentially useful. Cool. There you go, pluck them boys. And you've just been here trying to lift that all on your own this whole time. What a guy. Just throw that back, why not? It's extra sparkly. And throw the reds at him. Get him. Get him. Get him. There we go. Oh, yeah, no. Get it. Get it. Never get to get to gold nugget. Never mind. Get him. There we go. 
Send it back. Step that. There you go. That's what I want. That's what I want. I open up that. Charge. And charge again. Oh no. Wait! Leave my Pikmin alone. Didn't lose any boys, did I? Hope not. If I did, I'm gonna be real sad. Get him back. We'll do that. And they need the yellows to get that down. They intend to get that down. I'll have to go back and grab the lads. Oh, they're coming back. Oh, I know. They're going to go grab the, um, the ore. I'm going to let them do that. You guys can come with me, though. Have ourselves a grandy old time. And I'm really enjoying this game, though. I mean, I knew I would. Because I love the other Pikmin games, but like, yeah. It's really good. Really good game. I need more yellows. Well, might as well send all the boys on that then. And hello there, viewer. It is good to see you. How many, have, I, have I even got enough yellows, or did one die and now I've not got enough? That would be so obnoxious if so. I really hope I, I think one died. I think. Oh. oh, I can throw them from there. That's fine then. Alright, go on. Get it. I can charge you now. I don't know why I'm not doing it. Let's just set a wait game. It's got some cracks. There you go. Right, them two is just gonna throw. Gonna, gonna, gonna send that over there. Gonna get all 30 reds on this. There you go, just, just charge him. There you go. Nope, yellows, come back. I need you. You need to come back too, yellow. The man's trying to be a hero. Yeah, I can get the reds on it. Okay. Alright, you guys take that back. And then that's the way forward. Tasty. That's just a waiting game. Do you guys want, like, a hand? There you go. There's a hand. Here's some more hands. Alright, let's go. A thousand sparklium. Oh, that's just in total, I think. Okay. Oh, I, I've got some uh, leaves. Let's make sure we flower those boys before we go forwards, because we've got some nectar here. go. Everyone's got a nice flower on their head. And we are ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Do you want to continue? Yes, I do. Ah, there's a yellow text informing me of my Pikmin following me. That had me concerned in the last dungeon. The dungeon I had myself muted for most of. <laughs> 